On the way to Maroopa Police Station, we just had a call that a dog's been hit by a car. Sounds like quite a young dog, a puppy. It's bleeding from its nose. That's really all we know at this stage. We're not the best place for an illegal U-turn in front of a police station. I don't understand. Can we go in here? Is that okay? Yeah, sure. So what's happened? He was hit by a car. Yeah. Um, he was coughing when he came in and he's got a bit of a bloody nose. Okay. The injured puppy was found with his brother on the side of the road. Fortunately, the other boxer is unharmed. They looked pretty sad and miserable. We don't know how long they've been out there on their own, so it's pretty sad to know that two little puppies have been roaming the streets. <laughs> So this is what he's bringing up here, and it is, it is tinged with blood, so he's, my feeling is he's certainly aspirated some, some blood, either through the trauma or as a result of the bleeding going down into his airway, so that is a bit of a worry. And getting released from the station. No charges. Let's go. Any names that you've been giving him? No, we haven't named him yet. Okay. No. All right. Okay, well, I'll, um, I'll let you know how we go. Okay. But thanks, thanks for doing what you've done, it's great. Okay. It's after midnight when Chris arrives back at the Bondi Clinic. But you didn't expect you know, it to end up like this, did you, huh? That makes the three of us. What have you guys been up to, huh? You gonna come clean? <laughs> hey? It's been an adventure, hasn't it? Wow. So he's got a tapeworm. Ooh. This has dropped out here. Wow. All right, his temperature is normal. It's about the only normal thing about this case. One of the runaway boxer brothers has been hit by a what car to and needs to be an x-rayed. Mm -hmm. I just want to check out his chest and just see where this blood's coming from. Because sure. if that continues and builds up, then he's going to have some real trouble breathing. Yeah. Hey, buddy, I'm just going to leave you for a second, all right? X-ray. So he certainly does have some blood around the, the base of his of his heart there, and, and that's what he's trying to bring up when he when he does that coughing effort. The plan for him right now really has to be to try to reverse these signs we're seeing now. We have to really stop any potential future blood loss into that chest of his, and then secondarily try to replace the fluid that he has lost through the blood. So we're going to give him a drug to stop the bleeding and then put him on some fluids as well. If we can do all of those things tonight, then hopefully we'll see a different dog in the morning. He just shouldn't look like this. Oh, morning. Next day, Chris is in early to check on the two boxer pups he rescued last night from the Maroubra police station. No more coughing, it's good. It's very good. You might be getting better. We don't know who you belong to and we don't know your names. So, what we need to sort out is who you are. So I was thinking, Bruce and Barry. The bad boys from the bra. How about that? Oh, Bruce. You're with it now, are you? Jeez. Do you get the feeling they're hungry? It does make you wonder how long they have been roaming the streets. After breakfast, hit-run victim Barry has recovered enough to head outside for some fresh air with his brother. Been a little bit of wriggling going on, which tells me that we may have had some improvement. It's obviously sad that these two pups now are essentially orphans. I mean, there could very well be a family out there that's heartbroken, but because they don't have microchips, there's just no way of being able to track them down. I would just hate the idea of these two brothers ending up in an animal shelter and being split up. So we're going to do everything we can to stop that from happening. They've never had a bath before. You can smell that. Yeah. At Bondi Clinic, Barry and Bruce are getting a makeover. <laughs> Barry. Don't eat the soap. They seem to be really relishing every touch they get. It makes you wonder whether they really ever had much of it. Sadly, no one has claimed the Stray Brothers. You don't look so tough right now, Barry. <laughs> but Chris has a plan. Brucey. It's not bad, buddy. 
Look at that. Need the hard sell on these boys now. I know we're going to get them home somehow by hook or by crook. Yeah, it can't be too hard. Look at that. Oh, I know, a face like that, who's going to say no? Well, Who can say no to a bad boy, huh? I can't say no to a bad boy. <laughs> You can send the emails now, eh? Barry Six, loving new home. Uh, close to transport. We'll find a home for them. You gotta think it, it has to be a good home. <laughs> I'm confident we'll get something. We've got some big news, all right? Hmm? Some very exciting news, some happy news. <laughs> it's a big day for Bruce and Barry. You're going to say, hi, Bruce. <laughs> Chris's campaign hi, Bruce. to find the doing? new owners has worked, but they will be going their separate ways. This is going to be tough. It's going to be tough on them. It's going to be a little bit tough on me too. Oh, hi, Dougie. <laughs> Hello. 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 There's Bruce. Hi. And his brother, Barry. Bruce is being well. adopted by Nick, May, and their daughter, Priya. He's gorgeous. I would have loved to have found Bruce and Barry the one home so they could stay together and be brothers forever. But the reality is two boxes in the one house would be more than a handful. But we have two separate homes, both very loving families. They'll be happy. So bye Priya. Bye bye. Bye. bye Priya. Bye. Ah. We've left out Barry. We haven't forgotten about you. Barry, don't look so sad. It's going to be okay, mate. You've got a very special home too. Just one important thing. Always respect your elders, okay? Oh, look! Hello! Hi, Adrian, how are you? Good, thank Good to you. see you. Oh. It's Barry! Hi, Barry, hello! Barry, meet Tosca. I think it's going to be good for Tosca. She was been moping a lot. And uh, so now I think She's got a companion. It has been a big day, saying goodbye to Bruce and now to Barry, and you can't help but start to connect with them. You can't adopt them all. Otherwise, I'd have about 400. Oh. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.